What is up, Wildlings? Colin here, the Wild CEO, for a quick big idea. Let's talk about a very important topic that is easily accessible and available to you, to everybody, yet few take advantage of it. We're big on first principles here and habits and routines. A less than perfect routine that's executed consistently is way better than a perfect routine not executed consistently. And there's no such thing as a perfect routine or being perfect. So therefore, it's all about consistency. You remove those two variables because it doesn't actually exist and it's just a figment of your imagination and you focus on consistency, showing up day in, day out. That's what health's all about. It's all about what you do on a daily basis, what you do in your environment, how your environment interacts with you, how you interact with it. Health is a long-term game. You have to have a long-term mindset. When you are worried about being perfect or you're beating yourself up because you weren't this or you weren't that or you didn't do this or you forgot or you missed it or whatever, you're actually having a short-term mindset. You're focused on the wrong things. The only thing that you can do about the past and the future, because both of them don't actually exist, the only thing you can do is take action right now. So if you made a bad decision, if you didn't keep your habit up or do the thing you need to do, then do it right now. Do not create a story and a narrative that is gonna make it less likely to do the very thing you know you're supposed to be doing. Now today is about walking. This is a simple, powerful thing that most of us don't do. It's one of the big modern environmental factors that most people living in modern environments that have cars and escalators and elevators and all this different stuff, most of us don't walk enough and we definitely don't walk as much as our ancestors used to, which was around 13 to 15 miles a day in some estimates. 13 to 15 miles a day is probably what the average hunter-gatherer, pre-agrarian, pre-agricultural-based human, which was the bulk of human existence, you know, we're talking about like 99% of human existence, walked more than 10 miles a day. You and I, if we get one or two miles in, that's probably a good day. That's probably the upper tier for most people. So we're thinking about this from first principles something that our ancestors did and they were tall, lean, fit, healthy, right? And modern humans are devolving. Well, we should be trying to mimic the habits that they did and mimic the way they interacted with their environment. They got outside, they moved a lot, they got in the sun, they got dirty, they climbed, they crawled, they sprinted sometimes, they ran at a medium pace sometimes, and they walked slowly up, down, around, through a wild environment on a daily basis. This is a first principle of human biology. We are designed to move. We are designed to walk at slow to medium pace for a lot of miles every single day. Every single day. There's no day where you would wake up in the wild and be like, well, I'm just going to stay in bed today. And there's no TV to stare at. There's no devices. You literally had to get up, get moving, find food, potentially find shelter, ward off predators, etc. Now, the concept is simple. Start a 30 minutes a day walking routine get in the sunlight. So you're getting your vitamin D, you're getting your sunlight, no sunglasses ideally, because you have most of your absorption through your eyes. It also balances circadian rhythm, helps with sleep, et cetera. So you want sunlight into your eyeballs. And then you walk outside for 30 minutes. So you're getting 30 minutes of movement. You're getting a bunch of steps in. You're getting exercise. You're getting movement. This improves digestion. You do it after dinner. You do it when you get home from work, do it with the kids, do it with the dog, etc. Building this into your daily routine, minimum 30 minutes, is something that every human should do. Like this is something, if you're not doing it, you're not completely human. You're not, maybe I should rephrase that. You are not embracing your human biology. And as a result, you are going to have a negative health consequence. If you're not walking on a daily basis, you are going to promote sickness and disrepair and some kind of health cost. Because again, this is a first principle of human biology. We need to move. I got a few quotes here. I spent a lot of time explaining the ancestral reasoning for this because generally when we understand why something is so important rather than watching a video and hearing somebody preach about how walking is the greatest thing ever, generally most people are motivated more through fear or loss than they are through gain. This is well understood. There's lots of econ economists that have done research on this, etc. So generally people will spend more time and effort and energy and be more upset about losing $100 than they will invest time and energy into trying to gain $100. If I come at you from the perspective of by not walking 30 minutes a day, you have a major gap in your health program rather than saying, well, you actually have a massive amount of benefits by walking more. You have digestion, you have better mood. It's better for thinking. Every great thinker and genius in the history of humanity had a walking routine. Einstein, every philosopher, Nietzsche, like all these guys, they walked 
daily, like some, in some cases, miles. Mozart, Beethoven, greatest composers ever. A lot of them walk two to three times a day. Most of them have their entire daily schedule punctuated by long walks. Here's a few good quotes. If you are in a bad mood, go for a walk. If you are still in a bad mood, go for another walk. Hippocrates. This is a really huge one. So anytime my energy is low or a headache's coming on or anything like that, get outside, get in the sun, get moving, take a walk. It's amazing how much better you feel. After a day's walk, everything has twice its usual value. An early morning walk is a blessing for the whole day. Henry David Thoreau. This is definitely something I recommend if you can do it. I have a morning routine where I do my exercises from my back. I'm doing a gashi right now. Well, I guess I'm doing it forever now. And I get outside, maybe I lift a little bit of weights, hang out with the kids. I do think a morning walk. In fact, we're going to start a morning family walk. That's just what it's going to do. So after I do my routine, Allison's doing a routine as well. We're going to take the kids. We're going to do the walk. 20 minutes. We got all the stuff done. I got the morning routine, got the sunlight, got the walk, got the kids outside, got my exercises done. And then the sauna, that's how we're going to finish it off. That is my new morning routine. That's how, what my morning routine has been other than the walk because it generally takes time. I like to get out of the house, but I'm going to program that into my day. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is or my mouth where my money is. I don't really know what that phrase is or even what it means, but let's look at a few more. In every walk with nature, one receives far more than he seeks. John Murr. Some people walk in the rain, others just get wet. That's good. I like walking. I like I like being in the rain. Super underrated. I think that's a good place to end up. Walking. There's a couple other articles here, like why, why. There's a couple other articles here, like why walking is the most underrated form of exercise, and you can find plenty of stuff on here. Uh, Ten benefits of walking. You know why you need to walk. You just don't need to complicate this stuff or mat. Like you don't need to really complicate this. Just do it. Get out there daily and do it in sunlight. Get that vitamin D as a result. Kill two integral health birds with one stone. Daily sunlight for vitamin D production and daily movement, daily walk. Absolutely integral for optimal human health. I'm Colin Stucker, the Wild CEO. Get on the Wild newsletter over at wildfoods.co. And of course, you can use code Wild CEO for, actually, it's 15% off now. I raised it. It's 15% off all your superfood and real foods over at wildfoods.co. Full selection to help you build and maintain a healthy lifestyle using supplements, superfoods, real foods to create routines. Because again, it's about consistency. I'll see you in the next one.